Another year has come and gone. 2014 is about set to end and 2015 is about to begin. Before we look forward, this is a great time to reflect, a great time to look back and all that's happened in 365 days of Ohio Bobcat Athletics. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Ohio football went 6-6 six and 4-4 six and four and four in 2014. The Bobcats have had 49 wins in the last six seasons. Frank Solich now has 72 victories in 10 years as Ohio's head coach. You get places today, right from the very start, four quarters of it, okay? And he has 130 in his career. The season started with the league opener at Kent State, and it went down to the final play. The snap is back, the kick is away, and he got it, and Ohio wins! Josiah Yazdani, Yazmatic, paint this one, green and white. The season concluded at Miami, and that went down to the final play. Snap back, placement down, kick up, and it is good, and Ohio wins over Miami again. Full eligibility for the sixth year in a row, paint this baby green and white. Josiah Yazdani connected on both game winners, and that's the first time in Ohio history that a victory in week one and in the final week were won with the last second field goal. You gotta love it! Four players were all Mac. Daz Patterson is a second team punt returner. Lucas Powell, a third team offensive lineman. Terrell Basham, third team D lineman. And Javon Johnson, third team linebacker. For the third straight year, the best fans of the Mac led the Mac in attendance with the 20,515 average in six home games. The 2014 portion of last season for Bobcat men's basketball included broken records and another postseason appearance. Nick Kellogg became the all-time record holder for threes in a Bobcat career, and then the king of the three in the MAC. Ball deflected to Kellogg, out to the left hash. Pop-up three on the way for the record. Bang! And Nick Kellogg now is the all-time record holder for threes in a Bobcat career. He fumbled the ball, picked it back up. At the point, Kellogg for three and a record. Bang! And Nick Kellogg is now the three-point king in the history of this tradition-rich Mid-American Conference. After wins over Ball State and Miami and a loss to Akron in the MAC tournament, the Cats qualified for the postseason for the 21st time and fifth straight season. It was the team's second trip to the CIT, and they outlasted Cleveland State and Wright State before ending the campaign against VMI to finish 25-12. In April, after posting a 49 and 22 record in two seasons, Jim Christian returned back east to be the head coach at Boston College. On April the 8th, Saul Phillips was hired as Ohio's 18th head man, and he's come to the convo with his unique blend of emotion, enthusiasm, and coaching ability. The biggest reason for me is this opportunity. I mean, this is a Terrific, but the timing of it works out perfect as well. I mean, I, I look around here and I see home. In the calendar year, Ohio's posted a 21 and 15 record. Volleyball was picked to win the MAC, and the Bobcats won the MAC regular season title in the first year for head coach Dean Webb. They went 23 and six, and that's 118 wins over the past five years. The Cats went perfect in league play and have dropped just 13 MAC matches in the last five years. There was a 17 match winning streak and was part of a 22 win in 23 match run. Set far side now to Kelly again. She's blocked by the Cats. 14 6 here in the first set. Set to land birdie. It's off of Miami. Out of bounds on the near side. The Cats have done it. The quest to 16 0 has been fulfilled. Abby Gilliland was a MAC Player of the Year, Setter of the Year, and had first team All MAC honors for a second straight season. Meredith Ashey became the first player in Ohio history to receive MAC Defensive Player of the Year recognition, in addition to receiving a first team All MAC selection. Kelly Lamberti joined Ellen Herman as the only four time first team All MAC selections in program history. I just want to win. I mean, I think everyone wants to win on our team. Gilliland sets far side, Lamberti again. Yes! There it is from Kelly Lamberti. Karen Bull was first team All-Mac for the second straight season. And Jamie Kasorik became Ohio's seventh player to earn a Mac All-Freshman team selection in the last five seasons. Bobcat Wrestling sent six to the 2014 NCAA Championships in Oklahoma City. The most under head coach Joel Greenlee, and that marked 11 over the past two seasons. Taiwan Claxton, Sparty Chino, Harrison Hightower, Cody Walters, Phil Wellington and Jeremy Johnson took on the nation's best, 
and Johnson finished seventh in the heavyweight class. His 41 victories in the 2013-2014 season is an Ohio record, and he finished his Bobcat career with 143. Yeah, I definitely would have been remembered as that guy that, you know, always worked hard and came out on top just because, you know, he, he had heart and he had determination. Currently, Walters is a reigning MAC Wrestler of the Week and is 10th nationally at 174. As a team, last year they posted the 11th best national GPA with the 3.16. Chino, Johnson, and Walters were named to the all-academic team. Also, perhaps the greatest individual in the history of Ohio wrestling was inducted into the MAC Hall of Fame. Harry Husko was part of a six-member induction class in May. He was a legendary student-athlete and coach and was part of the program from 1960 to 1997. Bobcat women's basketball is having its best non-conference season in program history. The nine wins are the most outside of MAC play ever. The Cats went 9-21 and 4-14 and and in Bob Bolton's first season in Athens, but there was indeed momentum into the offseason and into this season. The Cats started this season with a six-game winning streak. Keanu Black was a preseason All-MAC honoree after being honorable mention All-League and on the All-Freshman team in her first two seasons. The conference run of 2015 could really be fun. It was a May to remember for Ohio softball. The Bobcats won the Mid-American Conference Tournament title and made their second trip to the NCAA Tournament. Ohio finished 33-26 and 26 and 12-8 and, and got hot at the right time taking all four tourney games in Akron. Savannah Joe Dorsey spun a perfect game in Game 2's 2-0 victory over Ball State. The Bobcats outlasted Buffalo 2-zip in 13 in Game 3 and beat the Bulls 4-0 to take the title. Ohio danced in Lexington, Kentucky and lost to Kentucky and DePaul but made history against the Blue Demons when Dakota Piles scored Aaron Lashley for the program's first ever NCAA tournament run. Bobcat Baseball welcomed back Ohio Hall of Famer and Major League Baseball Hall of Famer Mike Smith. He returned to campus in October to have his number retired on the left field wall at Bob Rett Stadium. He was honored in-game on the field at Peden Stadium, and he talked glowingly about his time at Athens and all he and his team accomplished. Coach Wren um, basically mentored me um, from my late freshman year through all the way through course my senior year um, in baseball and life and I came to Ohio University as a raw young kid with no confidence and left Ohio University as first team All-American and, 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 a, and a, well actually the first player in the second round draft pick. Schmidt was a star member of the 1970 College World Series team before going on to a legendary Philadelphia Phillies career. The 2014 Bobcats had 11 wins Hopefully that total will rise in 2015 in Rob Smith's third season. Field hockey went 6-11 but did close strongly in conference play, going 4-2 in advance of the tournament title match. The Bobcats flipped Central Michigan 2-1 in a shootout in match one, but lost 2-0 to Kent State in the final. Halen Hartley was named to the All-Max second team. Soccer finished 6-13 with a 4-5 home record. They did have tough luck after fighting to get four matches to overtime, dropping all four. Three went to double overtime. The Bobcats were honored by the NSCAA for team academic performance. The Cats' cumulative GPA was 3.43. That's back-to-back -back years with that classroom distinction. Bobcat women's golf showed great improvement in 2014, finishing in the top five in four of their six events. It started with fifth of 16 at Illinois State and concluded with the third of 13 at Toledo. Their second day score there of 301 was the season best. Lily Pendy's two-day total was 12th best in program history. The highlight, the Oakland Grizzly Invitational Championship, the first title since 2004, in which Angela Codian finished second individually. Men's golf finished their 2014 spring season eighth at the MAC Championships, and the fall season concluded with the 12th of 14 finish in Estero, Florida. Andrew Lenarski was an honorable mention All-MAC academic and an All-American scholar with a 3.5 GPA. Rachel Commissar's ball was named as the new swimming coach in March. Addison Ferguson took the MAC titles in 100 backstroke and 100 butterfly and competed in the NCAA championships in March. The fall season was highlighted with the win over Youngstown State at Oakland. 
men's cross country took two top finishes in September. Starting off the season winning the Ohio and Miami Invitationals, Kurt Stein Mueller took the individual title at Miami. Women's cross country finished second at the All Ohio's and fourth at Virginia Tech. Ohio hosted the MAC Track and Field Championships in May, and Julia Curso concluded her Bobcat running career the perfect way by being named the most outstanding performer at the event with wins of the 5,000 and 10,000 meters. She qualified for the NCAAs and had cat company there too, as Danielle Brown was there for the hammer throw. Curso did in the classroom as well and was named as a Capital One First Team Academic All-American. To me, that's my career, just progression. It doesn't really matter about the stats or the accomplishments or what's on paper. It's just the, the fulfilled sense that I've um, really like blossomed while I have been here. So there it is, a full look back at calendar year 2014. From all of us at Ohio Athletics, we wish you a very happy new year and thanks for all you do in being the best fans in the match. Let's all do our part to make 2015 the best year ever. For Tanner Smith and Ryan Cochran, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.